In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to take a thumbnail that's too big and scale it down to size, if that sounds good to you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a like on this video if it does end up being helpful. Let's jump right into it. First and foremost, on your computer, you're going to need a program called GIMP. Just hop on, download that. Simple as that. Get that downloaded, whether you have a Mac or PC, doesn't matter. Once you have that and you're done with your thumbnails like you usually are, here we have our final product that we got all done. We like the color. We like the way it looks. We think we finally have a home run on YouTube. But unfortunately, when you look at it, it's too big. We got to get that down under two. I'm going to show you guys right now how to do it in a very, very easy way. Right click. We're going to hit open with GIMP, that same program I told you guys to download. By the way, all this is totally free. And it's simple as this, guys. There's nothing to it. All you have to do is come up to image, scale image. And we don't want to like cut it in half because then you're going to lose a lot of detail. We might have to do this two or three times, but we're going to generally, gradually scale down our thumbnail until it's under that two mark. So maybe we'll take a guess. Maybe we'll go 1680, hit enter, and we'll hit scale. And that'll adjust it just a little bit. Come over here to file, export as. And then what we want to do, we want to just simply add an exclamation point. You guys can really change the, the title of the original thumbnail however you want. You just don't want to save it as the same name because then it will override your files. So I usually just put an extra exclamation mark in the title. You can add an extra letter, extra number, whatever you want to do. And we'll hit export. This you can leave totally the same. You can hit export if you want. I usually drop the compression level just one notch. And we'll go ahead and export that. Then what we can do, we can exit out, come over here and see how much progress we made. We went from 3.94 down to 3.01, so we still got a little bit left to go. We'll come back here, scale the image. Maybe we'll go down to 1410. Hit enter, hit scale, file, export as, come over to our name, add another exclamation point, export that. Again, the compression rating was still saved as eight. So we'll export the new one. Now you lose just a tiny bit of detail. As you scale down the image, you are going to lose the smallest, tiniest bit of detail. But the whole point is being able to use it on YouTube. So let's go back over to our file folder and let's see what we got it down to. 2.15. We're really, really close. So we'll come back over here. Scale image again. Maybe we'll go down to 13... 1385, that should get us there. Scale it just a little bit more. File, export, add that exclamation point. Go through our normal steps here. Leave everything just the same. Come back to our file folder and what are we at? 1.97. Now we get to use this for YouTube. So we'll go ahead and drag that to our desktop. We will go ahead and eliminate these two. We can leave the original just in case something happens. We got to go back and we can drag that back into our folder. I like to put my final edited video along with my thumbnails just in one folder so everything's ready to go on upload day. And that's all there is to it, guys. You're taking the original thumbnail. You're scaling it down. Once it's under two, you are good to go. And let's take a look at the difference in detail. Is it that drastic? Let's see. Here are the two guys. Scale down, original. Scale down, original. You lose a little bit of detail, but when you're just looking at the thumbnail on YouTube, you're still gonna get the same look you were looking for, the same demand I guess you were looking for, the same attention, the same click-through rate that you were trying to get. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoy this content. I try to make this video as short and to the point as possible. If this did help you guys out, make sure you do hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments. Do you guys want to see future videos with these little YouTube hacks, these simple technical advantages? 
let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.